the, the, the forests provide an absolutely vital source of livelihood for so many of the poorest people in the world. And I was recently in India and working with some forest user groups in India and also with Nepal with a fabulous organization called FECA Fund, which is the Federation of Forest Users in Nepal. And actually what they have found they've been able to do is to continue to use the forest as a source of livelihood, but for the community to take ownership of that forest. So actually they are reforesting the area and using it in not just a sustainable way, but actually a way which is reforesting and not deforesting the area. So they're still able to gain the livelihood from that but they're actually increasing the size of forest at the same time. And what they're finding, especially in Nepal, is as they are regrowing the forest, then the, the knock-on impact is fabulous in terms of less flooding, in terms of more uh, wood for, for, for fuel and so many other things. The, the big problem with deforestation is in areas where the forest is no longer owned and used by the community and where large businesses have ownership and access to the land. And then the, the use of the forest is seen purely as an economic factor. So the use of the forest has to be seen as a benefit for the community which is living with that forest or as a benefit for the wider community as a whole, as in the global world, which relies on the forest as a carbon sink and so many other things. So actually I think there are ways to continue for the forest to be seen as a livelihood for so many poor communities living in forest areas, but actually to reforest the area at the same time.